Right, so, a little bit of wild camping, a little bit of shooting, and a little bit of fishing. A couple of days in the woods, away from the zombie hordes, you know the old nappy wearers. Right, time for a bit of a tidy up me thinks. Work to do. Better take my fishing rod off, lads, haven't I? Go on that break in. Let's hang it in the sea where it's safe. New DOS bag. Come on to that later. Getting a bit warm in it already. Oh, right. This is going to be a bungee job. This one. It's like back in the day. Bungies and Basia, that's all we had. Yeah, and the hooks are a pain in the ass, aren't they? They're getting a tad sweaty now. Oh. That's going to have to come off.
British Army. Modular sleeping bag, medium weight, three season. So they sent the jungle bag, the one season. This is the three season. And the uh, the jungle bag, the one season, the lightweight sleeping bag, fits inside the medium weight, uh, weight sleeping bag. Then you've got a four season, happy days. We'll stick with the three season now. It's summer. Got a few bricks from last time I was here, so I'm not going to build a fire this time, I'm just going to cook off my stove. Uh, but I'm going to build a little cooking area. Giving me chairs still here. I'm good at Tetris. Top bomber. I think I'll have a brew.
I've still got all my tools from last time I was here. it. <sighs> Gonna be a bit warm now. I think I'll leave it. Right, I've had me brew. Nom nom nom. Let's go do a little bit of fishing. See what we can catch. I hope it's not too big because I haven't got a land in it. But I've got on a looking mat. Right. So there is my fishing gear. Yep. So it's a little six foot rod and a little reel, obviously, just a cheap thing, but I'd send it for the lot from Decathlon. I put nine pound line on there. That's a little tub for me bait. I haven't got any yet. Bits and bobs in there. Line, indicators. A few flies. Bits and bobs. Again, some spills of line and braid. Different braking strengths. Braking strain even. And there's my tackle box. So a bit of everything in there. Ooh. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. And I've even made some floats just to fit in. And it's a nice little deep compartments on this one. So there's a bit of everything in there. And of course the other side is all bits and bobs. So that's it. Oh. Stick that little lot in my pockets. Let's go fishing. And I'm taking my gun because I'm not leaving that. I never do. Never leave it unattended. You should do that as well if you've got one. Right, let's go blanking. 
need to get some bait first. So let's go to the bait pile. Just walk around the corner then. The shooting stumps are up there. And there's two Covid's on there. So I'll have a pop at them later. Where is bad boy? There is a big pile of manure. That's posh for shit. Let's go get some bait. Right. Got my little bait tub. Let's see if we can get some bait. It's loaded with them. Brenlins. So we'll pick a few. Oh, yes. There's plenty here. Let's get some big ones. We want some nice big perch. Yeah, it's no better than grubbing round in a load of shit. I think it's all shit. We'll get a bit of we'll get a bit of poop in here as well. So they feel at home. There you go, tub full of horse turds. Oh, there's a juicy one. A lot of babies. Right. I think that will do us for a bit of perch or roach bashing. Top up, back in the old sky rocket. Right, let's go fishing. Well, I think this looks like a nice little spot. Got some lily pads there. Have a double round there to start with, because of course, if I want to move, I ain't got much gear, have I? No packing away for four hours, putting it on a batter, and then moving 30 yards down the, uh, the bank. So, let's pretend we're survival fishing. for now. So that's nine pound line. I'm gonna put a bit of a bit of a less breaking strain because I'm gonna have a size 16 hook on I think. What have we got? That's if we've got any. Twelve, ten, twenty. 40 oh, 4 pound there we go there's some 4 pound pen line there and what's this 9 pound 40 pound braid 15 pound line 10 pound braid 20 pound braid 12 pound line mono and of course that 40 pound braid can be used for lashing things tying things multi multiple uses not just fishing braid so right i'll get this knocked up back in two shakes of a donkeys so 
just a couple of old made floats a bit of brass wire glued in the end they're made from sarcans, sarcans, I don't know, so them reeds anyway so it's made out of reeds so we'll uh, I've got one on Get in there. Right, here we go, all rigged up. So a little float, a couple of shot, little mini swivel and a link. Another shot, swivel, it's a four pound line. And I think it's a size 16 or 14 on the end. Happy days, right. See if we can uh, catch some it, shall we? Yes, sharp hooks. So a couple of little brandlings on there. There we go. Let's put all the gear away. And we'll have a dabble. Be rude not to. Remember lads, worms lives matter. Right, I've had half an hour there, now what's happening? Let's move. Let's have a go here on these lilies. Ooh. Ooh, this looks promising. Tell you what, it's getting warm. T-shirt weather this. Found a worm. He's a bit big and I could give him a go. Maybe that'll tempt all purchase interrupters. Don't catch out on that, there's no fish in here. Like the nudge then. Right. There's no doing here. I think I'll have a, a wobble round the other side. Have a bit of a dabble. Because if this was survival, I'd be going hungry. Greed chick, getting fed by mum. She dives down for ages. Wish I could hold my breath that long. Especially when somebody farts in a lift. Right, uh, there's no happening. You don't know where you're going, you do you? Have another go later. Let's go and do something else. See if there's anything flying, hopping, or climbing trees. Right. Bit of scoffs in order. Bit of lunch. 
what have we got in a bag of six? Got something nice and quick. I think I'll have a garlic and herb soft tortilla. A little bit of cucumber. And a John West jacket toppers, tuna with lime and black pepper dressing. Ooh, isn't that posh? Because if we were survival fishing, we'd be having nout. Right, it's okay. Smell the herbs and garlic and that. Happy days. A little bit of the old John West interrupters. A bit of muck. You don't get much at 89p on bargains. I'll get two out of it. I reckon. And a couple of bits of cucumber. You know it makes sense. There we go. We are living the dream. Taste that lime, that's nice. Top bomber, tip six, Abdi loves buds. But enough for eating them. And a bit of a snack, mo energy. And a bit of jam. Oh yeah, nice hat. Smash skins. Have a drink, don't we? Be rude not to. Dribbled again. Let that dissolve. We're in business. Dropped it. Right then. Sun's out, gun's out. Brought my springer with me today. Don't need air, don't need to keep filling it up if I'm rattling a load of shots off. So it's a Vidac HW97KT, carbine thumb hole, 
and it's an underlever. Fitted with a hook scope, hook reflex, three to nine, be 50. Happy days, so let's uh, have a couple of zero shots, make sure it's on, and then we'll go see if we can get some dinner. So we'll go and put Cyril about 25 yards that way. And let's see how accurate this is. It is a Springer, not a PCP, but it's a good one. Right, let's go and stick him in the tree where he lives. Right, let's go and have a mooch at that. That was nearly in position. <sighs> yeah, couple off, one in the head. Let's have another go. Let's have a shoot round here. So his midsection there, that little that little brown bit there. Put the gun down. Right, we'll have a go there. Let's have a go standing. Bang on that little, that little uh, brown patch in his body, right in the centre of it. And again, yeah, I'm not as wobbly standing. That was a bit high. It's 
We'll have a look. Yeah, three and a five P, and one just a bit high. They were kneeling, but all over the gaff was wobbling about a bit there. That was standing. One, two, three. Is that the fourth one or fifth one? But a new one went high. Bish bash bosh. Standing supported, much better than kneeling. <laughs> right, let's go and have an hour on the stumps. Alright, so we'll have an hour here. I've put some feed out. Built a little table as well, put the nuts on. So the mallards don't mop everything up, so I've raised it up a bit so the birds can get at it. And of course the squirrels. Because them mallards are just hammering it. But there was two crows on here when I come round earlier. They'll do. Not much meat on them. The songbirds are there. Pigeon. Right on the edge there. He triggered me. I knew as soon as I moved he'd have me. He was right on the edge of the branch so he had a good clear view of me there. Never mind. Let's watch the stumps. The only time you'll see me wearing a mask. I don't wear face nappies. Rabbit. Just come out of its hole. See me. Straight back down its bunker. And as soon as I turned my head, he clocked me and he was off. Any woodies, they're not landing. See if that rabbit comes back out. Came out of the old way. So I'll just keep an eye on that. The young one's just come out. He's gone back in, I reckon he'll be out again in a second. I can see his ears there flapping about outside the hole. Here he comes. He's gone back in. There he is. He's looking right at me. Right, I've been here an hour. Getting a sore clack of valves out of here. Feels like I've been locked in a cell with Mr. Big. Right. There's no doing on stumps. Nothing, not even the mallards have been up, them co the coots or the moor ends. Just that one rabbit.
I can't find him. We come down the bank and then as soon as he was down this undergrowth I couldn't see him. He's done a runner. He's crawled into summit and hidden. It's time for a grandad nap. That bed's looking inviting. Oh yeah. I can feel a bit of a gonk coming on. <coughs> Might even take my boots off. Think I will. A few midges in here. Come prepared. Little jam jar. Made a citronella candle. Not quite central, is it? Well, that's pure citronella oil in there. And it's rank. It doesn't smell like that lemony stuff that you get in the shops. Citronella candles. This is the pure oil. And no wonder the flies don't like it. I need a lighter. Took mine out of my pocket to wash my pants. See if that does the business. Oh yeah, I can whiff that. That was a nice little granddad nap that. I think I'll go for a mooch now. And that candle works. None of the creepy crawlies landed on me face before I lit it. I was getting fucking covered in midges. Lit that. And that was it. I had a gonk in peace. There's been plenty of pigeons about. I've heard them flapping about and landing in the trees above. Let's go for the mooch. Don the head cam. Have a mooch down here. So we sit here for half an hour. Rabbit Central. Six o'clock. Right. Let's grab a few mint leaves. Oh yeah, it's nice. To go with me tea. Oh, they smell nice. Smell of mint, funnily enough. Let's get some nice juicy ones. Right, I've just come back for fishing gear. Just down the side of the lake there. It looks like the topping for flies or the small fish, so let's go and have another go. Because the shooting's not working. Oh, had a nudge then, had a nudge. Oh, we're in. Oh, I've oh. lost it. Scheisenhausen. That was me tea, that. Oh, I've got one. Nice rope. Not a blank. Get down there. Get down there. It's not a blank. Ah, yeah, 
the top in here. Go on. Away it goes. Right, let's get some meat. Wormies back on. Now I'm covered in fish slime. Ah, buggered off. They're over there now. But uh, yeah. They're in this peg now. One roach. It's not a blank. I'm going for me tea. Woody's on there. One's just gone in three and he's gone. They were on the on the stumps. Two wood pigeons. Never mind. They'll be back and you know where the food is. Right. Time for some dinner. So tonight's the lights. You squirrel and mash. Bit of squirrel. Bit of mash. A grunion and some mint leaves that we've got in my pocket. That is the cuisine. Just boiling the water for me mash. Put a bit of a onion in there, bit of mint leaves, take that off. Fry the squirrel, bish bash bosh, jobs are good and
you can smell that mint. Oh yeah. There's no wind, so I'll just place that there for now. That can go in at last minute. I've got a bit of squirrel. Been marinating in grill critter. You might recognise these squirrels from the last video. So there's four legs, two loins in there. Happy days. Right, so what herbs should we have in it? We've got mint. I reckon a little bit of dill. Spices. Oh, there's no garlic in there. Let's go find the garlic. Can't find the garlic. A little bit of grill critter. Bit of Swedish seasoning there. I think I might put a few chilli flakes in. Don't go mad. There we go. Happy days. Get the squirrel on the go. Bit of garlic and chili oil. Yeah. Top bomber. I'll save them bits for in a bit, that won't take as long. And then we're done now. Put the loin in. I think I'll change that flat and all. It's a little bit funky. Let's get that on the boil.
that's the mint, onion, grilled critter, and a bit of dill. Right, a little bit of smash, I've not had this for years, I thought I fancied it, yeah, should really have real mash, but I'm going to have a bit of smash. Well that's soak in a minute, ooh the best cut, the best cuts of old zero. in the muckiest pan in the world. Let that sit for a minute. And then we're in business. It's food o'clock. Squirrel and special mash. For special people. Special. That's nice. Oh. That's even nicer. Squirrel mash cake. And smooth. You'd think it was a chicken wing. Oh yeah. That's like that. Oh. That mash is a, a bit hot still. Get some refreshing beverage on the go while I'm troughing. You would. You'd think that was chicken. Invasive species chicken. It's like sausage and mash, but without the sausages.
at scraping the pan out in the seventies when your mum used to make mash, wasn't it? So you get all the mash, put it on plates, and there was loads left over. Me and my sister with racing spoons, because my other sister weren't born by then. Back then. <sighs> Top bomber. Uh. See, I didn't do a, a loud a mouth belt to them. I was trying to be posh because I was eating smash. And you must have had this guy. I think I'll uh, let me tea go down before I tidy up and do the dishes. I'm stuffed. Come here, pillow. Them ducks are here. Get the guns. <laughs> Get my candle going. Oh, flies are back. I should see him off. I use hand sanitizer. Because I want to, not because I'm told to. Oh, right, let me dinner go down. And I'm not going to scrub them pots. Bang on cue. Here comes the rain. Uh, I'm pissing it down. I think I'll give my how's your father a quick pump up. And I'm getting in my fart sack. Egg nearly exploded then. So let's see how the British Army modular medium weight sleeping bag fares up. I will sell you in the morning, kids. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna chill for a while. Ram my stinky candle. Oh, that's better. Oh. Better close me flaps. Oh. oh, this is the life. Oh. No face nappies round here. 
No zombies. Living a dream. Right, it's midnight. It's time for some quality nut down. Retire to the green maggot. <sighs> Get down here with the trumps and the foot cheese. And put this out because it stinks. Night, night, sleep tight. Oh, the bed bugs do not bite. If they do, do a poop. Put it in a corner stew. Into the ambulance, ring, ring, ring. Fish trout, elephant, dim peaking. Busy, busy bee. Diddle, diddle, dee. That is an accountant just like me. Good night, God bless. Fuck off. Well, it onks it down last night. I'm having a brew. Breakfast. He's up there somewhere. Can't see him. Right, had me brew. Fire's died down. Let's go and have an hour on the stumps. Then come back for some breakfast with some tips, tricks and literally Andy loves buds let's have another bash it's a bit busier out here today the moorhens are up with some uh, very small chicks 
Oh, look at that lens there. Huh? Late comers to the world. Blue tits. Great tits. A pigeon would be nice. That'd go well with my tips, tricks, and handy love potatoes. Squirrel. Cyril's back. He's up the tree at the moment. He's just come across the ground. I've seen his tail bobbing and he's gone up the tree behind the stumps. Now he's disappeared. Here he comes. There's a jay just landed as well. I'll leave him alone again. I'll wait for that grey menace to come back. Stumps. There's a tree right in the middle. He sat right behind that. I can't get a shot. Right behind the tree. The tree's only that wide. You come out. down. Let's get another one in him. He's down. No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Looks like squirrel with the tips, tricks, and Andy loves buds. I had squirrel last night. Put the safety back on. 
automatic safety on a Virac HW97. Once you release it, you can't manually put it back on. You've got to re-cock it, and that engages the safety catch again. No vermin. I'm just going to watch this woodpecker. The safety's on. Look, he's always on the floor. He's having a good. He's having a good old feast. Bless him. Have a greater spotted or a lesser spotted. <laughs> He's chucking leaves everywhere. Seeing what's underneath him, because there's only wheat left. Because <laughs> he knew there was peanuts here, and they've all gone. First things to go are the peanuts, then the suet pellets, then the sunflower seeds, then the bits of cracked corn. And then it's just the wheat left. But the old woodies love that. Wood pigeon. See him, but he's further down. He's about 40 yards. I just flew off into the tree. He might be back. There's a beetle in my cap. That's Ringo, that. I thought I felt something on my head. Right, been here over an hour now. Nothing else has turned up, just songbirds, waterfowl, and woodpeckers. I think we're going to pick that squirrel up. and retire back to Moonbase Alpha. Getting a sore bottom again. Another night in the cell with Mr. Big. Go get him. Ooh. Oh, legs are Kimbo there, didn't he? shot here for out and lungs can't even feel the pellet hole it was a jay's feather yeah. 
That's it. Squiddle down. But look at all these mushrooms. I don't know what they are. I'll have to consult my book. Got to be careful with mushrooms though. You eat the wrong one. That's good night Vienna. But there's plenty here. Whatever they are. Let's not step on them. Some more growing there. Oh, we'll have to come back with the bucket of mushrooms. Right, found the pellet hole. There it is. It's gone in there. It'd be in there somewhere. 177. And it is a male, it's just a young one, it hasn't got a big nut sack yet. Know what I mean? Thanks, chaps. Time for a bit of a munch, me thinks. So, tips, tricks, Andy loves fudge. Let's go digging. Home bargains potatoes. Uh, it's in German, but that's not the name of this product. Basically, it's potatoes. I don't know what's in it, cream or something like that. I don't know, but basically, basically cut potatoes in a foil bag. Comes in a little cardboard box with the name on it and everything, of course. Um, and I will put that up so you can see what it is. Yeah, I think it's about 89p. But I thought. Boil it. Boil in the bag. Aluminium bag. Happy days. Not one of my tips, tricks and handy hints. I was mincing around here the other day. Uh, and Phil. Yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, he brought one out. I said, oh, well, let's have a look at that, mate. Yeah. So I had a mooch here. I thought, oh, that'd be great, that. Stick it in a pot. Boil it. Let's see how it's gold, because it's the first time. And then, a little bit of deboned fried squirrel. Chucked in. Mix it up. Top scoff, can you not knock it? So I've been down to the Charlie Drake and got myself a bit of lake water because I'm running low. Because I'm just going to boil that. But it is an aluminium bag, so I'm not too sure about drinking the water after that's been boiling in it. So, yeah, I'm going to gash that water. Maybe wash my pots in it or something. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll get the fire going. Put this on the boil. I'll take care of Theodore. That's Theodore. Because he had a set of love spuds. Only little ones like, so it's not a fully grown male because they're massive set of Jacobs on them. When they're grown males. Obviously they're the ones that do all the scuttling, don't they? Yeah. Right, so Get the fire going, get the old love spuds on the boil, and then Theodore, do a little bit of work on him. Right, fire. on and that'll fit lovely in there might get the lid on might not either way no hardship is it right so I have to go all hostile on Theodore Pellet went in there, and there's the exit wound, so it went straight through him. 30 yards from a Springer. 
177 Bayrak HW97 KT right through him straight through his vitals game over yeah entry wound exit wound right in with the potatoes there we go looks like I have to turn it round halfway little bit still stuck out of the top there bit of squirrel stir fried in the love spuds but I'm going to give that a wash first and I'm going to put a bit of, bit of grill critter on that spice it up a bit and get a fire going again so give Theodore a quick bath took his coat off while he has a bath Put a bit of sanitizer on me trotters. And I think we'll have a, a bit of pepper. There we go, Theodore is ready for the pan. Alright, I think that'll be done now. Squiddle nugget. Let's give that a quick blast. Just to warm the tatties. No, oh, I lost the piece. Still gonna eat it though. You know I am. Squirrel lives matter. Ooh, a bit warm that. Let's get it in there. Not to burn my hands back. There we go, let's have a look at these tatties. Oh, they smell nice, them. You're supposed to fry them. But we're not. I wonder if it's going to need a bit of salt or whatever. Should find out, won't we?
Nope, that is fine how it is. Mmm. Yeah, stick your dominoes up your ass. Theodore made me say that. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose you could put anything in these potatoes. Well, you see them. Don't put your mouth full. Mm. Yeah, them tatters would be nice fried too, but they come in a aluminium bag, so I thought, no mess then, is there? Mm. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a squirrel and potato fest out here, hasn't it? You get what you get out here, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, I like them potatoes. They've got a two year shelf life as well, lads, so you can stick a couple in your bag and bobs your teapot. Yeah, squirrel lives matter. Just not grey ones. I dribble a lot with this mug. <clears throat> and sometimes in my pants. <laughs> I'm a dribbler. It was nice that. Mmm. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, Theodore. Oh, it's, it's, gone, it's gone. Yeah. That one packet of potatoes will fill you up, lads. It was nice. 30 flies can't be wrong. Right, that's me fed and watered. Time to do the dishes and then a bit of a ooh, ah, lie down. Like dishes. Got a bit of warm water for me dishes. Yes. Still a bit warm that water. Alright, I think I'll smash out a quick half hour and then we'll go fishing. A little bit of angling. <sighs> Tummy full now. Have a go. Bit of a zapple. It's dead again, here. Eh? That's it lads, hour on the lake, not even a bite, not a perch, not a roach. That's it, another night in the woods, thoroughly enjoyed myself, happy days, time to go home pal on the next trip. We got a roach, we got a grey menace, nom 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 nom. This is a bit lighter now and all, a bit less food, no water, and I've just buried half a pound of bum chutney.
just come round the corner then. Two carrion crows and a jay on the stumps. And a rabbit in the middle of the path. Oh well, keep them fresh for next time. See you later kids, top bomber and all that bollocks.